Hello, my people. Welcome to my home. We're doing a home tour video. We're starting outside where there's a mirror for no good reason. It was gonna go inside. Then I thought there were spiders in the back, right here. And so then I said, we will wait. <laughs> we will not bring it inside until I get the spiders out. And that was about two weeks ago. So Jessica is a little trashy, but welcome to the video. Happy you're here. Some of you requested a video of my home and I thought that was very sweet. So um, I was gonna clean up for you and then I realized I'm gonna only kind of clean up for you. I'll explain more in a moment. We're starting on the porch where, very true story, there is a sharp saw laying out in the open as if we don't have two toddlers who are committed to risking their lives daily for the sake of fun. So pro tip, don't leave sharp objects out because that's dumb. You can learn from me what not to do so that you can do it better. We're starting in my living room. I wanted my house to be perfect for you. I wanted to like have someone professionally clean it and then send my three children and my beloved husband away so that I could have like a social media worthy home. One that was impressive to you, uh, the viewer. But then I realized that my viewers you guys are people I like and you're probably people I would invite over as real friends, not people I was trying to impress, but people I actually care about. And when my real friends come over, I don't freak out. I like, I tidy up, obviously. I don't want it to be a disaster when they get here, but I invite them into my very real life. And so I decided to go that route with this video, which is like a little scary for me because, you know, people on the internet can be rude, but um, for those of you who are my people, I'm going to show you my real life house on a Wednesday afternoon and, uh, yeah, I'm going to take you through it. It's going to be fun. So uh, it's kind of clean cause I knew you were coming, but it's not so clean that I'm trying to impress you. It's just, it's just me and my house and I'm happy you're here. So welcome. I also wanted to give you a chance to understand how I think about my home. Because if you know me, you know that I have a lot of words and I have a lot of deep thoughts. And when it comes to my house, there are thoughts behind the way I do things here. And one of the main things I think about as I have, um, I don't know, tried to make this house a home is I have thought a lot about the fact that this home serves as the backdrop for my children's memories. And I mean, I have a two-year-old and a three-year-old, so they're not exactly going to remember our home, but I think they'll remember the way things feel, perhaps. My seven-year-old will definitely remember this home, should we ever move or change it. So I want the space to promote good feelings, right? I want it to bring um, peace and calm and happiness and like remind us of things that we love or people that we love. And so in every room, I've been trying to be intentional about that. I also, I'm on a budget. It's we're all on a budget, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, I'm not trying to spend a ton of money in how I do this house, but I am trying to create rhythms of life. Whoa, I am in the spotlight right now. Rhythms of life that feel really good to all of us and uh, make for a special backdrop to all of the life lived inside of these walls. So it's motivated by my love for my kids, I guess, and my love for my family. So on the topic of doing something motivated by love for your children, I went ahead and got life insurance, which I thought life insurance was a scam. I didn't even think it was real. But then my brother-in-law, who is a lot smarter than I am, encouraged us to do it to protect our kids in case anything ever happened to us. A thought I don't even want to think about. But turns out it is just really not that deep and it does not take very long. That's why I'm excited to work with this company Ethos today. So I pursued getting life insurance through Ethos, which made the process super simple and fast. I simply filled out a little questionnaire, I answered a few health questions, and I was approved within minutes instead of waiting weeks. Ethos facilitates the purchase of life insurance and they help find the right life insurance for you. And the cost of life insurance was less than the cost of the monthly streaming service we use so our kids can watch their favorite shows. The application process took me 10-ish minutes and afterwards I felt so relieved. Right now I'm the primary breadwinner for the family and not that I make a lot of money, but if anything were to happen to me, life insurance provides income replacement. Thus, the, the cost of life insurance fits comfortably into our budget right now. It brings me a lot of peace knowing that if something were to happen, 
they would be okay, um, at least financially, while they're in such a vulnerable place. Recently, we had a call in the Very Good Mothers Club community on the topic of fear, and I encouraged the women in the call to ask themselves whether or not their fears were helping them or hurting them. Because in some cases, fear actually empowers us to do something that will protect us. And in other cases, fear just torments us and keeps us kind of stuck. Super common for moms to fear death, obviously, because it's a nightmare to imagine our children growing up without us. But one way that that fear can actually help us is to empower us to do something like getting life insurance. At least if we were gone, our kids would be provided for financially. According to Investopedia, each year that we wait to purchase life insurance, our premium can increase in cost by eight to 10% which means the sooner we purchase life insurance, the better. Ethos makes it possible for busy parents to quickly and easily apply for life insurance with no medical appointment necessary. We simply answer a few health questions on our merry way, protecting the future of our loved ones for as little as $10 a month with no hassle. If you're interested in learning more about Ethos or you're interested in getting your free personalized life insurance quote, you can click my link below. Okay, that's all. Should we go on the tour? Let's go on the tour. Cute, we've been working on it lately. We put those that Becca took from Manhattan Beach. These Shall we begin with just really studying what's on this wall that Becca put up a few weeks ago when she was staying with us because she's just the best? We have here Makba. This is a little uh, famous spot in Barcelona. Actually, it's not little. I don't know why I said that. Spot in Barcelona where skateboarders skate and it's a, it's a art museum. This is a painting that Eloise and I did when she was two. This is a really adorable thing that Leon, ooh, thing, I don't know, piece of art <laughs> that Liana, is that how you say her name? Gosh, okay, I'm gonna tag who did that because I'm afraid I'm gonna say it wrong. Liana Lane is how I say it, but I realize I might be saying it wrong. My apologies, here's a skateboard. Sean's a professional skateboarder, I don't know if you know that. And it's a Bible story and I'm not sure. Oh, it's a Psalm, Psalm 23. I don't know, how lovely. Uh, we got book of when we lived in Spain. I just love this little book of Julesy and that photo is great. This photo was taken by um, Grace Sims, who's like, she's like family to us. Uh, and she's fantastic. A friend made this, Nina. I just need to share all of these people because they actually sell these things. A little planty plant, skateboarding, a basket. That's another organization. Um, another, I haven't even told you about one organization. Here, let's make this bigger. Um, but it's called Dwell. Dwell? No, there's Dwell something. Basically, my friend, she sells these baskets and then uses the money to improve the homes of people living in this certain city in Uganda. And I don't know more about it to tell you, but it is so amazing. And I regularly support what they're doing because I love it. And then this is a picture of the beach because one day I want to live by it. Lindsay... Lindsay something or other. She makes beautiful art. And then some family photos that I love. Someone was born. That's my little niece, Loie. This is a picture that my friend Chloe took in Barcelona. We used to live there. This side of the room is pretty boring. I need to figure something out, but the plants, the plants are thriving. Okay, the next thing I'm excited to show you, which if you were just arriving to my house, I would show you right away because I'm so excited about it, is this bathroom. Dun, 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 dun. This bathroom. Wow. Okay. That was not really the entrance I was hoping for. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let's told you you're my real friends here. Welcome to my bathroom. This bathroom used to be so ugly. Um, actually I should, I bet. Okay. I'm going to share a clip from an old home video that I did home tour video when I was pregnant. Yeah, no buns on camera. So we have another bathroom here. This one has a bathtub in it. So this is where the kiddos take a bath. Hi, this is my belly. <laughs> Baby is 32 weeks today. And we're just trying to keep her inside, huh? Yes. She can't come out yet. Whoa. Back up when she was here, we just decided together that we were gonna take this project on and make this bathroom something we were proud of. And, um, and I sure am proud of this bathroom. I love it. And yeah, it's a bit girly, but, um, Sean's cool with it. He likes it actually. He like genuinely does. This isn't me just <laughs> deciding that he likes it. He really, he said he likes it. And, uh, the bathroom, the bathtub is kind of gross. We got these really cute bath crayons, but then we took them away from the kids because they were coloring on each other and it was pretty hard to get off. This is from Ikea. I don't know where this is from, but we painted it. And this is magenta. Can you tell? 
It's fabulous. And this is from Ikea. This is Wilson's color changing car. Put it in water, changes colors, very cool. Uh, that's my little nook that I try to cover. I always keep the door open because I'm so I'm so excited about this bathroom that I actually want <laughs> I want whoever's sitting on the couch to look right into it. The, the problem with down here is oh we rent the bottom level of this house. There's someone else who lives upstairs, and we have our own entrance, so we come in down here, and then they have another entrance. Um, but the bottom level of this home doesn't have much window light. So like this little kitchen area, which isn't actually a kitchen. Um, it's just like a make-believe kitchen. We just make believe that it's a kitchen and we put appliances on it and then really, really feel defeated by the kitchen. Um, yeah, I think it was meant to be a big laundry room. There's the laundry stuff. Here's our little dining area. Still kind of, you know, the kids ate here. Also, Sean's pretty, pretty into using paper plates. So that's what happens when he is taking care of them. A lot of paper plates. Ah, uh, this is Julesy's room. Here it is, welcome. Not, not too much has happened in here, like as far as decor goes. We just, <laughs> I think this is cute. This is a little Barcelona swaddle and I just like it. <laughs> so I put it on the wall. Um, I should tell you who did this one, I can't remember but it's beautiful. Yeah, man, so much beautiful art that people have sent. Um, also some crushed, crushed uh, cereal. You know what? I try to keep as much just <laughs> crunchy stuff laying around that you can step on and just <laughs> under your feet. Helps you feel alive as a parent. I'm pretty sure in every room we have like crunchy cereal on the carpet and somehow on that thing. Yeah, we've got some Legos. I knew you were coming. This rug one day will be replaced, but I chose it because it's light. Everything is like light because I'm trying to reflect as much light as possible. So I even chose light carpets and um, yeah, I paid to put carpets in here once upon a time and I chose really light carpets and now I'm like kind of feeling like a dummy that I did that, but it was very cheap carpet in the land of carpentry. Is that a word? I don't know. But um, yeah, so I'll probably, regret it down the road as it gets more and more dirty okay this is my room I don't really want to show you my room because my room is a disaster today but yeah if you were my friend coming over I probably wouldn't even bring you in my room because I don't really like to hang out in here lately um except to sleep I don't know why but that's real so here's my room it, it has I mean you guys have seen it because I film videos a lot of the time right here oh if we get this window light <laughs> then you can't tell too much about all the nonsense. Maybe, yeah, lately I feel like this room has needed some extra love and I'm ready to change out that picture and do some freshening up, but uh, I'm grateful for this room. It's just not, not my like favorite room. Okay, we have this hallway. Dun, 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 dun. kids' toys. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, okay, I'll be honest with you. Hmm. So I did think this room was cleaner <laughs> because I actually did clean it up a bit this morning before I left to run and meet someone. And then I came back and now it looks like this. Uh, so I, I can't totally take credit for how messy it is. Like I wasn't planning to have you see this, but it's fine. We're here. So this is the room. This is where Eloise and Wilson sleep. Eloise is up here. Wilson is down here. Gosh, it's so much cuter when like the bed is made. And um, we have the, the closet is here. Okay, and then like inside here, I hang Eloise's clothes and then Wilson's are in bins and then toys are down here. Some toys are in bins. It's a little bit chaotic. Um, okay, so that's this room. And then we have another bathroom. This bathroom, this bathroom is not as exciting to me, but I mean, it's a nice bathroom. It's, it's great. Uh, yeah, cool. Here's the bathroom. If you ever, if you ever come and stay here, you would use this bathroom. This is the bathroom that guests use. And it just has some kind of like random art that I think that probably came in a gift box that I received once. And I just was like, oh, cool. I'll put that there. And then, yeah. 
thankful for it, but you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, and then we have, we have a guest bedroom and it has bunk beds and it currently is like a storage room, a storage room. Um, I'm just going to go really fast because I, I also wouldn't really show you this room unless you were like, Hey, I really need a place to sleep tonight. Could I sleep here? Then I'd say, yeah, but I'd give you a very fair warning that the room is not ready for you. And that is what happened last night when my friend came and stayed with her daughter and she was like, don't worry about it. And that's what gave me the idea that real friends don't need me to wait until our house is perfect to show them the house. Uh, so that, that's my house. That's as, that's the tour. That's all it took. Okay. Wow. The sun is going down, but I'm standing by windows to try and catch all the light I can get. Cause I feel like it's the most flattering. And lately my videos, I have not been that impressed with the lighting. So in fact, <laughs> one of my family members who I hadn't talked to in a long time called me and was like, I saw your video. I was like, thank you so much. She was like, you're looking so much older. I was like, I think, I think there's like a certain age where you don't want to hear that anymore. Like I could say that to Eloise and she'd be like, oh, <laughs> but once you hit 30, <laughs> I just, I don't know. So then I watch my videos and then I'm all insecure. Like, oh no, I look like an old woman, but I mean, I kind of am one. Oh, well, no, I'm not. <sighs> Depends on who you ask. Um, anyway. <laughs> rambling thanks for coming to my house we made it a goal this year that we want to host people more because we love hosting sean and i are like mega people people we are extroverted people people and so it's been fun we've been hosting people more we sometimes like after bedtime we'll tell people to come over so um, meaning like my kids bedtime so the other night we had some friends over after bedtime and had jelly beans and fancy drinks and popcorn and then things got crazy and we started to air frying <laughs> onion rings and chicken sticks, chicken sticks, like fish sticks. Why does that sound so weird? Chicken fingers. <laughs> okay. We had that and it was really fun. So, um, yeah, I'm living up to my goal of hosting people more and this is sort of like hosting people. So thanks for coming. So happy that you're here. And if there's something you wish I would show you more of, I mean, I'd be happy to show you, but I'll probably make sure the house is cleaner on that day because this has taken a lot out of me to put this type of home on the internet, especially that bedroom with my older kids. Come on. Anyway. Okay. You guys are great. Thanks for being here. Join our community if you want more friends or you want to get on some calls with me and we can meet in real life. I would love to know you and your beautiful little family. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. I just realized that I'm kind of ridiculous because I showed you around my kitchen and like showed you the mess of everything, but it was all on paper plates and stuff. I could have just cleaned the table before filming. I am sorry. I was afraid I was going to run out of light and I always get sort of nervous when I film, when I film things that are my house. I, I don't know. It's easier for me to film like a video where I'm giving you advice because there's less, um, what is it? Like there's, there's less factors to consider in what's going to make a good video or not a good video. But, um, but I could have like really cleaned better. Cause look, now the table is more clear. This is from Ikea, which is really cute and fabulous. And we have these benches on the other side of it. What else was I going to show you? Oh, I was going to show you something in here. Oh, so I love having happy pictures of people around like people we love and are connected to and so um that's what we have i mean and also there's a lot of pictures of my family but it's because like the babies they're so cute look at that wilson that is so cute oh my gosh yeah so there's people that we love on here we have a lot more people that we love eloise are you serious this is one of the best pictures ever of eloise and wilson um but also that's a good one put that on there for sean um, I don't know. They're just, they're very cute. So I'm showing you this, even though I took you on a tour earlier. Uh, oh, and you know what else? This is a sticker. This is a sticker and it, I didn't even do that good of a job on it, but I just wanted something that would be nicer than the tiles that are underneath it because they're like this brown, I don't know. It just wasn't nice. And then painted the walls white and that was a game changer as far as making the place feel nicer. And then this thing's cute. Uh, that's to try and clear off some of the clutter that happens here 
even though the clutter still happens. And then this is helpful. Puddings, I mean, it's overflowing though. I got some, I got some stuff I need to do. And then the, you know, what's the worst? The top of our fridge is always so cluttered. And then I clean it off and then it gets cluttered again. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. There's a reason why I don't do these home tours too often. It's because I don't feel like, I don't know. There's pressure to have a perfect home. And I feel like I can add to that myself if I, if I make a lot of stuff like this. But my people and my followers, you're probably parents who can relate to some of this. So just trusting that you're nice people. And um, thanks for watching.